This is a pretty simple problem, uh, but can be pretty daunting because of all the algebra that's involved to solve it. Now, I already mapped out um, the masses of each of the objects. I, I, I set the, uh, the ball with the mass of 0 0.440 kilograms as mass A and, the, and velocity A as such. And I set the ball with a 0 0.220 kilograms to uh, mass B, since labeling your variables with different letters makes them much easier to work with when you're manipulating formulas. And for the velocities, since it says that uh, the second ball, or ball B as I listed it, begins at rest, and it's, that means that in its current state is 0 meters per second. Now, uh, from this section of the chapter on which this is based, uh, there are two, formula, two new formulas we get that we can use here. And the, the first one, and the main one, the main big one here that we got to use, is the conservation of momentum formula, which basically means that MAVA, or rather uh, the momentum of the starting objects, and the, the sum of them, is going to equal the sum of the momentum in the, uh, the balls in the end result. So no momentum is being lost here in an elastic uh, reaction, or an elastic collision, which the question tells us that it is. So we can use this here. Uh, however, since um, VB is zero, that means that there is going to be no momentum in that piece to start out with. So rewriting this for, uh, equation to suit our needs, it can be just MAVA equals um, the MAVA prime uh, using, the, using the apostrophe or the prime to indicate the final values plus uh, the MB. However, even if we do like finish rewriting this whole thing here, this doesn't really get us anywhere because we still need a way to plug in the like variables so that we can find the final velocities of each of these objects. And in order to do that, we can replace the, uh, the MV um, with, we have to replace the MV with something else. Since, since MV is one of the variables we're looking for, uh, we can't take this whole formula and have uh, the VB in there because that'll give us two unknown variables for which we're trying to solve when just using one equation on its own wouldn't be enough. So we can use the second equation that the chapter gives us, which is this, that the starting, uh, that the, dif the magnitude of the difference between the starting velocities is going to equal the magnitude of the end velocities, though those will be in an opposite direction as indicated here. So, algebraically, you can pretty easily rewrite this formula right here and set it equal to just VB prime in a way so that uh, you can substitute that in for the VB prime that would go here. And rewriting this, you can uh, simply get that MVB prime is equal to uh, VA plus VA prime. And you should be able to work out why that is yourself with some simple algebra. And so we can substitute this whole thing into this uh, conservation formula here. Now, this equation now that we've now created is pretty much all we'll need to solve for uh, the, the, final, uh, the final velocity that we're looking for here. Because if we were to, once again, use, pre use pretty simple algebra to rewrite this formula, we can get that VA prime is equal to the difference in the, MA, uh, uh, the masses, MA minus MB, over MA plus MB times uh, the original velocity of A, which, uh, plugging this into your calculator, would get you um, 
two six repeating, but I'm just going to round it up to one point two seven because uh, just to get the correct number of significant figures, and that is our final velocity for a. And since it, since it asks for velocity particularly, we would also have to specify that this is east. And also noting that this is for ball A. Now to answer this though for ball B, uh, we, we need the final velocity, or VB prime, for the other ball now, which we already created a ver uh, an equation we can use right here. That VB prime is equal to VA plus VA prime. Uh, so simply using that formula, we can just plug in that uh, our initial VA, which is 3.80, plus uh, VA prime, which we've now determined to be 1.27, and plug that in to get uh, 5.07. And since this is a positive variable, this is also traveling east in the same direction as ball A. Only this is the velocity for ball B. And that is how you solve this problem.